Hello. Hands up if you struggle with something called imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is that sense that you're not actually qualified to do the job you're, you're meant to be doing. You don't have the knowledge or the skills or the experience and you're worried that you're going to be found out. Um, if you struggle with imposter syndrome, then you're going to have real problems with our verse of the week. Listen to these words from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Paul says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. The glory that will be revealed in us. See what I mean? What does that mean? Does that mean I'm a special person and my glory will be revealed? I don't think so. Does that mean I'm a great servant of God? Well, that's not the case. Does that mean I'm, I'm deserving of the highest praise? Definitely not. In fact, if God knew what I was really like, he would definitely not want me to be glorified ever. But hang on, hang on. What does Paul really mean here? Well, I think we find a clue a bit later on in the same passage when he says this. We ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for the redemption of our bodies. The redemption of our bodies. Paul's talking about a future event when we'll be glorified through the redemption of our bodies. And that gets me thinking about, you know, what's at the heart of our faith? What is the salvation Jesus is offering? Well, it's something we will never be qualified for. We will never be actually deserving of it. It doesn't work that way. Salvation is when God takes us as we are, redeems us, transforms us through the, the inward presence of his Holy Spirit and makes us into the people we were always meant to be. And it's the same when it comes to the resurrection of our bodies. It's the same principle at work. Resurrection is not when our present bodies are die and then are restored back again to the way we were before. Resurrection is God taking our present bodies with their flaws and imperfections and transforming them into something new and different and special. And we catch a glimpse of this in the resurrection stories uh, that, that we know from Easter. Jesus, after his resurrection, he was the same Jesus, but he was also wonderfully different. And in him, God's glory was revealed. And what happened to Jesus was a foretaste of what will happen to us all. So don't panic. Put aside all those, those imposter syndrome fears. God already knows who we really are. He knows everything there is to know about us, but he still loves us and he still has a wonderful future in store for us. When in our resurrected bodies, his glory will also be revealed. Shall we pray? Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of hope, the hope that we share in Jesus. We thank you that in him we see glimpses of what's to come and the gift freely offered to us all. So help us to put aside any sense of unworthiness. None of us are worthy. Instead, help us just to open our hands and accept that free gift of salvation that is offered to us in love through Jesus. We ask this for his sake. Amen. Thank you. Have a good week.